That was a weird yawn. I, I thought you were sighing. I was! That was a sigh! You're supposed to worry about a cute girl when she sighs. Your demands tend to require too much effort. So what's wrong with you? Oh, you know, after we defeated Fear the Great, Desko became final boss-like, and Emizel has matured a lot. I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't changed. I got to meet the President as you promised, but that didn't accomplish anything. It's like I've been left here all alone without anything to show for it. I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to admit that you're dead and become a printy. No way! I'll never do that! Why don't you admit that you're wrong and become my printy instead? I will when it's proven that this is just your dream. But you can't prove it's not! That's the same thing as you being wrong! Your logic is utter nonsense! Then prove to me that this is your dream! Ugh! Okay, then why don't we settle for the middle ground and just say that neither of us will become a printy? Absolutely not! You need to learn some valuable life lessons by becoming a printy! Then what about the other middle ground where both of us become printies? How is that any middle ground? And then, you'll just become my personal printy. Perfect, huh? What? I don't understand how any parts of that are perfect. Well, you know, my charming prince doesn't seem to be arriving anytime soon, so I think this is a reasonable compromise. A reasonable compromise? Are you talking about me? That's extremely rude. Ah, uh, but Artina and Fen Fen might get up in my face. I guess stealing you from them would be breaking the friendship rule. <sighs> Maybe I should go take over the world with Desko. Hmm, true. That may suit you best. Mm-hmm, right? Taking over the world with a final boss! Especially since I am in a dream, maybe I should try and do the impossible. Alright, let's do this! Let's have a toast to my dreams!